Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about spotting fake mediums. Um, you can't always tell because obviously they're good liars, but um, if you go in and there's tarot cards everywhere wrapped in silk and crystal balls and trinkets everywhere and you know you can't breathe for joysticks then they're pretty much going to be fake because you know a lot of psychics like to use tarot cards and crystals and all that sort of stuff but they're not going to have them everywhere and it, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be on display either you know you know we may be psychic but we've got you know a life <laughs> and we don't always want that sort of stuff everywhere in front of us all the time um, so yeah, if, there, if there's just things everywhere, crystals, bloody trinkets, crystal balls, you know, if there's a silk tablecloth everywhere you look, you know, I'd just take your money and run to be honest. Um, what else? Um, if they're very vague about the person that you want to speak to, if they say, oh they got very forgetful during towards the end or oh um, I think they were a very small person or they were a very shy person or a very loud person you know that could be anybody and they liked to garden or you know they went to the shops once a week how many old people do you know that go to the shops once a week do you know what I mean you've just got to be although you want to hear from that person you've got to have your wits about you um, especially if you've, you know, if you've been to that psychic before, then obviously that's okay because you know what to expect. But if this is the new psychic that you've gone to, and you know you've never been there before, you need you don't test them, but don't immediately jump to the conclusion that they're speaking to who you think they're speaking to. You know they could just be completely, you know, pulling your leg for all you know. Um, so you've just got to be really careful not to jump to the conclusion that they're talking to who they say they're talking to and they're not the, they're the person that they say they are. Um, if they've got a fake name, um, that's sort of, that's a bit dubious. Um, and if they're on the internet and they've not got a photo, I, I stay well clear of psychics who's, who've not got a photo on the internet. That just rings alarm bells for me. Um, you know, why are they hiding and what if they've got a fake name? Um, my real name is Twinkle. Now, lots of people don't believe me on Twitter, but it really is. Um, so, yeah, if they've got a fake name and if they've not got a photo, if they're on the internet, then I'd stay up well clear. Um, if they're very young or, you know, they, they look a bit... I don't know. Sometimes... Maybe it's because I'm psychic, but sometimes there's just something about somebody that I don't like the look of. There's, you know, maybe they're a bit smug or a bit shady, I don't know. Um, but if they're very smug about, you know, what they're saying, then that's something to watch out for. You know, if, they, if, if you've been doing readings for a very long time, then you're going to be confident because you're going to know what to do in every single situation you're going to have already seen before, so you're not going to be bothered. But somebody in their early 20s or something who's very very confident no I don't think so it's like when I first start, started to do readings I got really quite shaken up about things sorry my cat's just came in um, followed by my dog um, and I got really really sort of scared um, and I, I put off doing readings for a very long time and when I first started doing them they were only £3 um, and then I slowly started to put my prices up to £10 and then 15 and then back down to 10 again. Um, I wouldn't go for a reading if it was any more than £30, um, depending. If it was a good reading or if they did more than just a reading, then I'd go for, for something a bit more. But if it's just a reading, I wouldn't go for anything more than £30. I probably, myself, wouldn't pay £20. Um, I'd probably pay £20 to £25 um, at a push. But it depends. If you go to that person every single time and they're really good, then go for it. Um, don't go around. Don't go and try and find the cheapest person because that person might not be the person that you need to see. You know, I've got quite a few regulars who come back every few months 
and sort of check in with me. Um, and I've got psychic friends who have got regulars too, because you know you, you just have to find the right psychic for you. Um, if you've never been there before, you need to really have your wits about you. And um, if they're overconfident, if they've got too many trinkets, um, if they try and charge you more than what they said they were going to charge, um, then that's a no-no. Um, if they say they've got a, you've got a curse on you, or you know that you, that you need to be purified or whatever, no way, absolutely no way. You know, a real psychic would never ever say something like that unless it was, you know, if they thought that you were in danger, basically. And even then, they'd probably do it for free. I don't know anybody who wouldn't do it for free, um, because they'd be worried about you. You know, they'd be concern for your safety if something like that was going on. So they'd just do it there and then, or they'd help there and then. Um, you know, don't believe anybody who says that it's going to cost you an extra £300 to get rid of something. That's just not true. Um, so I'd just take my money and, and run there and then if somebody, somebody said that to me. Um, yeah, you, you want clarification of who, who they're talking to really before you start to get your hopes up, especially if that you've never seen those that person before. Another thing to look out for is um, if they've just moved to the area or if they've not been doing it for very long. They might spin you a story about, you know, they've just moved or, you know, they've not had the confidence to do it or whatever. Um, but if you've never even heard of them and then suddenly they just appear, that's another thing to watch out for. And um, very elaborate business cards and things like that. Um, that's another thing because I know quite a few really good psychics who've got really simple business cards, but you don't need all the all the trinkets and stuff and all the flashy things. You know, good psychics can do a reading anywhere without anything. Um, I know psychics who use playing cards as tarot cards just because they like them. Um, but yeah, that's about it really. Um, leave me some comments. I'll answer any questions.